Hi, Charles is a book stage here with a quick little chat. I recently gave uh, audiobooks a shot. And I've never really listened to audiobooks in my whole life. Uh, my brother, my older brother, did own a audio recording of The Hobbit on, on vinyl, on actual LP, narrated by Nicole Williamson, he of Merlin fame uh, from the movie Excalibur. And other than that, I had some cassette tapes of some BBC radio adaptations of The Lord of the Rings and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But I didn't really think of those as audiobooks. But in the current modern audible audiobook of today, I've never really paid them any attention. Until just recently. Uh, one of the plans that I had had for 2018 was to participate in the Wad Along, the Wheel of Time read along, that started in January and goes all the way till through like the first quarter of next year. I had read the first, I believe, six books of the series many, many decades ago, years and years and years ago, and stopped waiting for the whole f series to be finished. And I bought each book as they came out, but I just never read the rest of them. And just before getting on book two, I decided it's time to finally finish that series. So I started over, made it all the way halfway through book five, and then stopped. Got into a whole reading slump, and this was like 2017. And then um, this year rolled around, uh, plan to, okay, when they get to May, I'll pick up where I left off in the fifth book and continue with the whole read along there. And then life got in the way and all sorts of things, and I haven't really been on booktube all summer and all sorts of stuff. So they just finished book 10, and I believe in December are about to start the prequel. I think that's, or no, they're taking... I think they're taking December off. They just finished reading the prequel, I think, in November. And they're going to start book 11 in January. So I decided I want to try to catch up to get to the end of this series to catch up before they finish. So it, to, if nothing else, I could participate in on the final book in whatever, March or April, whatever that is. And I knew there's no way I was going to... F with physical reading, be able to do that. So I decided, you know what, let's give audiobooks a try. So I did my 30-day free thing on Audible, bought the book six, and I listened to that. And since it's a book I'd read already, I figured it would be a good um, introduction to audiobooks, because since it's a book I already know. And I really enjoyed it, so then I bought book seven. And I just finished book seven. And this was a, a book I hadn't read in the series yet. And I really, really enjoyed it. Now, from what I remember of book six in particular, it was a bit of a slog. Um, there's parts where I think in this part of the series, they get stuck like in one place for a very long period of time, for like 900 pages before anything, the actual significant items take happen in the finale of the book. And listening to the, it on audiobook, book six, it actually was more interesting and more entertaining. I didn't get that um, sense of being bogged down, which um, I think started to really hurt the series around book five um, and book six. Um, so in book seven, since I've never read it, I've only now listened to it on audiobook. That's my only experience with this story. But I think I'm going to try to continue to catch up. I think I will be able to. The audiobook, um, I think, will help me do that because I can listen to it while I'm working at work because I'm an IT guy, so I can just put the headphones on and go about my business doing my IT work and have the story going on. And so far, it looks like uh, having it at 1.25 speed seems to work best for me. Just in regular speed, just seemed a little too slow. Um, and doing going up to 1.5 just seems more natural flow speech for me. Maybe it's because I'm originally from New York City and you're used to talking quicker. I don't know. But so far, that seems to work. So I'm just about to launch into or dive into book eight. 
and as we head into the last week of November here, I'm going to try, since this is one of the shorter books in the series, to finish book eight by the end of November. So that way, in December, I have books nine and ten and the prequel to get through in December to catch up to the readathon. So, worst case scenario, I have nine books nine, books ten, the prequel, and book eleven to finish by the end of January. I think that's a more doable thing. And so, so far so good. This happens to be a really good audio recording, or at least I like it. I can't judge it against any other audio books because, again, this is my first real interaction with them. Uh, I am really, really intrigued. Um, and we'll probably end up buying the audiobook to Lincoln and the Bardo by George Saunders, which was my favorite read uh, last year in 2017. I think that's a book that I could see clearly just uh, reveling in the audiobook format. And I've already got an audiobook that's probably going to be my nonfiction November read for uh, November 2019. And I'm looking forward to that. Now, as far as this whole me lying on the floor here on a rug talking to you, I um, no idea. I don't have my books there in storage in New York. It's going to be a while before I get them. So I don't really have a spot yet. This is my living room. And it's furniture free for the most part. Um, because the furniture, I've ordered it, but it's on back order. So I've got like another six weeks before I'm going to get it. So it's me and a chair up there in the living room with my rug and over that way is kitchen and stuff where I spend most of my time. I have a table and chair over there. But anyway, um, so as I continue back here on BookTube, slowly behind me, um, my house will start coming together <laughs> since I've moved from New York down to Florida. And uh, another reason why I decided to do the audiobook as well is I'm living now in South Florida where I don't have to hibernate from the cold for six months out of the year. So I'm outside a lot more than I was in New York. And there's no way I could read as much as I want to read and be as active as I want to be in terms of physical activity. I can't do both. So it's looking like the audiobook is going to become a prominent um, way for me to absorb story. And I especially like the fact that the Wheel of Time books are whisper synced. So if it syncs up with the Kindle ebook, so the ebook and the Audible book remember where you left off on either format, which I really, really love. I, I've imagined most audiobooks are not whisper sync, but this particular series is. So if I feel like just reading a little bit in bed before going to sleep. I can just open the Kindle I, I up, go right to the book, and it knows exactly where I left off in Audible. So I really, really love that feature, and I hope it's a feature that expands to more and more um, e-books, or at least Kindle books. So um, I think that's it for this. I'm still, like I said, figuring out, working out the logistics of where I'm going to film, where my setup's going to be. Right now it's just me, this new Blue Yeti microphone, and my Logitech C920 camera, and we'll give it a go. But I'm happy to be back and making weekly content again. I am Charles, this is Book Sage. Happy reading. <laughs>